Hello YouTube, there were a lot of questions how I use enclosure with actual printer because in the part one we didn't actually see the printer printing and now I will show what modifications I had to do in order to printer to work in enclosure and you can see right now I'm printing with purple EVP ABS I'm using master spool you can see out here I'm using the cheapest Bontag clone of an extruder that was like ten dollars maybe even cheaper I'm using V6 hot end and BL touch no part cooling as ABS is not actually requiring much the changes I had to do for my printer so you can see all the electronics is mounted down below under three power supply Raspberry Pi and main board I use 422 Reality board probably will replace it. Then I had to print one of those pieces. You can see out here it's actually using a fitting on both sides. PT YouTube little uh, spool holder, and there's a plastic PT piece inside of it, so it goes through all the way without any resistance. And here you can see inside I have only motors. Motors are heating up quite well but they are were able to withstand all the print time I put on those measuring temperature inside of the enclosure usually it's about 40 to 45 depends on the longevity of the print now it's very cold outside and I had like 35 40 ish but it still were printing perfectly fine I use PEI sheets those are one of my favorite print surfaces they eliminated so many problems for me I hate to struggle with first layers and everything, but those guys doesn't require anything, just simple clean up with API. API. I use 97-99% API, but it's probably 95-ish in reality, and everything sticks perfectly fine. Here on my laptop, we can see the speeds I'm using. I'm going like about 20% of stock Euro profiles. I'm using 2000 velocity. If you will go into the jobs, I mean the history of the jobs, total time 130 hours. I used two carbon filters in there, like tiny filters. They are battery powered, able to work in enclosure. This is cardboard filters that those things use inside. I just decided them, uh, to buy them for fun. There was like $20 for two of them. They reduce fumes quite a bit, but currently I use one of those units to clean air inside of my little workshop when I print ABS or overall when I print P PLA or PTG. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.